So right now, um, we look at many different serological markers or lab tests to help us better potentially identify patients who might be developing bone metastases prior to the development of them having a symptomatology. And so a good history is always important to see if there's a new change in uh, pain, uh, whether it's perceived as bone pain or muscle pain or anything that could be impacting uh, physical activity, gait uh, uh, as well. In terms of the serological markers, we're doing a lot of work at looking at uh, alkaline phosphatase. Uh, bo both it, uh, bone alkaline phosphatase, where we look at serum bone alkaline phosphatase. We look at degradation products as urine n uh which is also uh, another marker for the degradation of uh, bone metastases. Looking at some of these markers, it's interesting to note that patients with more elevated findings, even a generic plain alkaline phosphatase, with known history of bone metastases increases our concern that these patients may be heading towards a worse course of disease, even if they're asymptomatic. So of course we look at other uh, uh, serological parameters inclusive of alkaline phosphatase, uh, the PSA kinetics, the absolute PSA, hemoglobin, LDH, but alkaline phosphatase in many of these patients is a very nice marker to look at especially when we go on to offer therapeutic uh, options because there's been some new data that suggests that this can give us some uh, prognostic indication as well as predictive indication as to the value of our therapy.